Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome to my channel. And this is part two of our digital signage with Raspberry Pi Zero W. And at the beginning here, I want to talk about one small thing that you may run into when you're editing that network that INI file that's on your SD card. Don't forget to uncomment out WLAN zero because it'll be commented out. And then it may help, and you probably will have to put mode equals DHCP in that file and then save it. So um, for the Raspberry Pi 0W, this could be the complete entry in your network.ini file that is in the boot sector of your SD card. So uh, make sure you make those changes. So we're going to look at our uh, DHCP table here. And I see Raspberry showing up as 187 and 188. So let's take a look at those. Okay, so uh, I pulled up 192.168.66.188 colon 8080. Now, that port probably looks familiar to you, but uh, for the purposes of this setup, that is your Screenly interface. And in the third video, when we talk about the firewall and security, I'll show you how to set a static IP address on this if you need a static IP. But when you first log in, this is the interface that you're going to see. Now, this button over here that says Add Assets. So you'll notice down here there's Active Assets and Inactive Assets. So assets are simply things that are going to be displayed on your digital sign. And it could be a movie, it could be a graphic, or it could be a web page. Uh, and the new version, you can actually do RTSP streams. So you could have that. You'll see that uh, they've got a little bit of um, stuff down here at the bottom, like they want to get you to try the Pro, and then you can get the latest Screenly news. Up here at the top, it looks like we have an update available. And then we have uh, our settings button and our system info. So if we click system info, we're going to see how much space is free, the uptime, the load average, all the log files. If we go to settings, we're going to have some general settings that we can tinker with for Screenly as soon as this comes up. This is the first time that I've run this, so you are seeing it as, as I see it. Now show the splash screen. So there's a Screenly splash screen that has the IP address of your device that that can be shown. You can turn that on or off. You can shuffle the playlist or you can show the assets um, in order. If you have audio, it wants to know what your output is. So it can be HDMI or 3.5 millimeter jack. We don't have the 3.5 millimeter jack on this one. Uh, the default duration for a slide, this is 10 seconds. Default streaming duration, 300. Uh, do you want to use the 24 hour clock on or off? Debugging debug logging on or off and you can back up your unit here and then here you can see update available so if we we click on that it's going to take us out and it's going to show us that there's a new version so what we could do is we could actually SSH into this maybe we'll do that in the third video so we'll kind of wrap up those loose ends in that last video and I'll show you how to upgrade this so if we just go back to the main screen we can see our assets uh, here and for example the Screenly banner now I'm gonna use uh, some of these that they have you know built into the card uh, but I'm gonna change like the hacker news we're gonna change that we're gonna switch that over to my website and stuff like this so that when you see it on the TV uh, you'll kinda understand what's going on so we'll leave the banner on there and you see the start date and the end date. And the reason these are all in the inactive assets is because their end date has passed. So even though these are turned on, they are it's past the end date. So it moves those to inactive assets. So if we edit this guy and we give it an end date of September 30th, and we'll do a duration of five seconds for that. So that's a screenly banner. Now you'll see it has moved that to active assets. Okay, so down here under inactive assets, we still have three items. So we'll edit the 10K strong. I don't know what that is. I haven't seen it yet, but we're going to move it to 
September 30th. And we're going to move this to a five second duration. Now you'll see it's in the active assets is because that time has not passed. That end time is still there. So we still have two in active assets and this one is a website and the way you can tell that it's a website is it's got the little globe. These are images. It's got the little image icon and this is a video because it has the little video icon. So for Hacker News we're going to edit this and we're going to call this H5 technology and the asset location. Oh, you know what? It's not going to let us edit that. So we're going to cancel that. We're going to trash can this guy. We'll go ahead and do llama drama. We're going to edit this guy. You can see that it's a video. So our end date will be September 30th. And we'll save that. And we'll turn that asset on. And now it's going to move up to the active assets. Now we're going to go ahead and add an asset. Now here are our options for assets that we're going to add. So asset URL. So if it's a URL, this is where you're going to put it. So I'm going to put HTTPS how or h5technology.com. Now if this were an image, we could drop a video file here, an MP4 file or a JPEG or whatever. Now, make sure that when you're designing your assets, and we'll also talk about that in the third video, that you're making them an appropriate size so that they look good on whatever display you're using. This URL could be a YouTube stream. It could be um, a web page. It could be you know that RTSP stream that we talked about. You can put those in the asset URL. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save for that. And the end, start and end, we're going to turn that on. It won't end until September 5th. Now I can reorder these assets. So I can put uh, the website up here at the top. And we'll edit this. And let's give this like a 15 second display. And then we've got the Screenly banner, the 10K strong, and the, the Llama Drama. We'll leave Llama Drama at the end because that's a movie and I don't know how long it is. We could probably look that up. So Screenly really is this easy. So, but with the open source version being this easy, uh, there are some security things that we're going to talk about in the third video. I'm going to open the next video showing these assets. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you this display in the beginning of the next video. And then we're going to talk about updates, we'll talk about static IP address, and we'll talk about some of that security and about how to handle that. Because right now this is wide open and anybody with the IP address can just go here and put assets on your screen. So we'll talk about that and we'll tie that loose end up. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to get a Raspberry Pi kit, the my Amazon affiliate link is down there uh, in the description so please use that it doesn't change your price but kicks a couple bucks to the channel so we can keep things rolling in so come back for the third video and we'll see you in that third video